Hello everyone, this is Florian and in today's video we will build a simple text suggestion tool using nothing else but the Python standard library. Before we jump in, let me quick, quickly show you what we are going to create. So in essence we create a little script. Let's run it, script.py. It asks you to provide a phrase or a couple of words. Um, so I go with um, about ability and let's say around and as you can see the number of changes zero changes were made so all words were spelled correctly if we run the script again and now um, do some typos so uh, instead of writing about a but so missing the u um, ability and around uh, doesn't have a typo then the number of changes is two because about was suggested as well as ability so now we have the correct or the correctly spelled words and that's exactly what we're going to build uh, using nothing else but the Python standard library so let's start by creating a new directory let's call this one text suggestion but not solution so text suggestion and navigate into it so there's nothing in here and yeah first we need a our script file so touch script.py and open it in Visual Studio Code, script.py. And the basic idea behind this text suggestion tool is that you have a dictionary. In our case, it will be the English word dictionary. And that if the, if the user provides a couple of words to you, you simply check is each word of it included inside of the dictionary? If yes, don't change anything. Is a word not inside of the dictionary? Then try to compute the nearest word or the closest match to this word and return it to the user instead. So first we need a dictionary. So let's say dev get a dictionary. And I want this to be a set of strings. And so uh, that it works on all platforms so from Python 3.7 onwards we need to import future from future annotations so that this lowercase set over here works all right so get dictionary and let's keep things simple and simply return a set with which is incomplete so we put in here the three words that we are going to use about ability and around in the video description, you will find a link to a GitHub repository, which makes use of a real English word dictionary, parses it properly, and then computes everything in here. So the final solution will only differ from what you're seeing in this video um, in this get dictionary function. But let's keep things simple. We have a set of strings. In this case, are only three strings in there. And what we're now going to need is to write a function which is called suggest, which takes a phrase, it's a string from the user. And what it returns is a tuple consisting of first an integer. This is the number of changes that were made, as well as the adjusted phrase, so a string. So before we are going to write this function, let's complete the setup. So if this file is executed directly via the command line which we're going to do so if name is main then we first want to ask the user for its input so his phrase or let's call it original phrase equals to input your phrase then we want to compute the changes so the number of changes as well as the adjusted phrase equals to suggest phrase and we use here python's um implicit unpacking oh well, yeah we need original phrase not phrase and now we want to print it through the terminal as you've seen it earlier so print um number of changes And the second thing I want to print is the adjusted phrase. So adjusted phrase. 
And last but not least, we want to also see which was the original phrase. Original phrase. All right, yeah, that's basically it. That's our setup. Uh, what's currently missing is yet to implement the suggest function. Let's start by initializing some variables. So first, the number of changes. By default, this should be zero. Then we have the words that we want to iterate through. Basically, this is the phrase the user provides um, yeah, and split it up by the white spaces. And the next thing that we're going to do is to iterate over each word. So for index, comma, word in words, oh yeah, in enumerate words. So because the, we already, uh, also need the index um, of each word inside of the list that we just created. So first check if the word is not inside of the dictionary, and we need to also define what our dictionary is. So dictionary equals to get dictionary. So if the word is not inside of the dictionary, then the changes variable is increased by one, obviously, because now we need to make a change. And secondly, we need to compute all of the, uh, all of the matches and in order to get the closest matches, we can use a function from the standard libraries diff lib module, which we need to import first. So import diff lib. Particularly, we use the diff libs function get close matches, which takes a string. Uh, in our case, this is our word as well as some iterable it can have a look at to check whether the word is in or not. So in this case, it would be our dictionary. Now we need to decide which of the matches um, is the best one because get closest matches returns a list of matches. And for simplicity, we simply go with the first match inside of this list. So first we need to check if matches. So if the function found any matches, if this is the case, only then we are adjusting the original phrase and then we say something like words idx so we manipulate the list of words by assigning um, the closest match which is matches and then zero so we simply take the first match inside of the list um, in every other case no changes need to be made so we can leave it out as it is um, which means if we looped over all the words inside of this list, we can put them back together and then return them. So we return a tuple, so changes, comma, and now we need to put everything back into a phrase. So we join it and words. All right, so that's basically it. So what have we done? We iterated over each of the words in their original string. We checked is the word in the dictionary. If it's not the case, then increase the number of changes by one. Compute the closest matches using the diff libs get close matches function, and then replace the original word by the first word in the matches list. Then put everything together again and return a tuple. So let's head over to the terminal and check whether it worked. So python script.py, it asks me your phrase about ability and around. Looks pretty good. Let's run it again and with some typos. So about ability and around, two changes were found and the adjustments were made accordingly as well as around wasn't changed at all. Again, in a real world scenario, you would use a English dictionary. I found one from the Princeton University, which looks pretty promising. Again, a link is in the video description. Only the um, get dictionary function will change. But I hope you got the general idea behind it and learned something new and increased your knowledge of the Python standard library. All right, that's all for today. Stay curious and keep coding.